What's up guys, it's Solly Lord, and I'm going to keep this intro brief because we got a big FNAF news video today. Recently in my, like, Lolly Lord news video where I just talked about the channel and stuff, I talked about how I wanted to make three FNAF news videos, one about the FNAF movie, one about the games, and then one about, uh, like an old script for the FNAF movie. Yeah, I'm reducing that to one. In this video, we'll be talking about a bunch of FNAF stuff, mostly Help Wanted 2, but also a brand new game that I actually released. And the FNAF movie. And then and also the exciting announcement of FNAF 2. That will make another video about the scrap script. Uh, I haven't seen that yet, but I will at some point. The order is going to go the FNAF movie and then Help Wanted 2, basically. Because there's a lot of FNAF movie and there's a lot of Help Wanted 2 and then some stuff in the middle. So the first thing is the FNAF movie is super successful. It's insane. The FNAF movie right now is sitting at over 300 million dollars. I remember uh, on the opening weekend when I was there on Saturday, it already made like, what, 30 million dollars in like a few days. And that was just from like the UK and opening day. I watched it on the 28th, which is technically the day after release. And it already made so much. And at the end of that weekend, it was at like 70 million. It was insane. And since then, it has just been creeping up. And now it is like, it's the biggest horror movie of the year. It is like the second biggest horror movie since COVID. It is like the, it's in the top 20 biggest horror movies ever i think which is kind of crazy i don't know all of them because i keep seeing them from the hollywood handle and johnny blocks i keep seeing these records and i can't keep track of all of them it's too many but yeah 300 million dollars it's absolutely freaking wild and uh i'm very glad that it hit that the next thing i'm going to talk about is the fnaf movie digital and physical releases because yeah they do exist basically these uh physical releases and some of the digital releases have bonus content about like behind the scenes, how they made it, just stuff like that. Uh, but something that is really unfortunate is I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any like scrapped scenes or anything, which is really bad to see. Like yeah, that's the thing. I don't know why. I'm I'm still gonna try to get the physical release, but like I don't know. Digital releases already came out. It is on YouTube, movies and TV, Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Voodoo Fandango. Microsoft Movies and TV, Xfinity, and Verizon TV. And the physical release is going to be in DVD and Blu-ray, 4K, Ultra HD, whatever. I don't know how much it is, though. Uh, I'm going to try to get the physical release because I'm pretty sure the PS4 can play Blu-ray. So, that'd be cool. Physical release, by the way, releases on the 12th of December, which is two days before I bought it, too. So, it's going to be a lot of FNAF there. Universal Pictures recently put up the first 10 minutes of the FNAF movie on their YouTube channel. So now, you can see the first 10 minutes, and I think 4K, I'm not sure. It's literally 10 minutes, and at the exact 10 minute mark, which is just a random point, it just cuts to the end cards. So it's like, I don't know. I just thought I would say that. Next thing is something absolutely wild. The FNAF movie was nominated for the 7th best movie of the year. Uh, I don't know what like award program this is it's definitely not the game awards uh it wasn't even in the game awards which is pretty disappointing like if you look at the twitter post where it shows the nominees for best game adaptation everyone's like fnaf 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 it's like bro next thing i'm going to talk about is one of the two fnaf games released in the past like month uh, a little more extended than that but still we got the fnaf the movie the game also known as Freddy space 3 chica in space this is a troll game for FNAF the movie The Game. It came out on like October 20 something. I think the 20th. Uh, maybe before that, I think maybe like the 18th or 19th. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. This apparently was a skin of a game that Scott made for his kids and just turned into FNAF, which is just classic FNAF Scott fashion, you know? Alright, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the last big FNAF movie related because this is just freaking crazy. The FNAF movie has been doing insane right it's been getting mil like hundreds of millions of dollars it's incredible how successful this movie has been and especially because the budget was like 25 million and they made that bag just in like the opening weekend god blood mouse is getting so much bank like it's literally their best selling movie their biggest movie ever so it was only obvious to announce five nights at freddy's 2 the movie it is official we got another eight and a half year wait, but actually we don't. I have a bunch of things to share about this thing. 
First thing is that Emma, Tammy, or Tommy, I'm not sure. I'm gonna call her Emma Tammy because it's what I'm used to. Emma Tammy is returning as a director, which is pretty cool. Uh, the production was so. Oh my, what am I saying? The production is supposed to start in early 2024, which is good to know. It was supposed to focus on FNAF 2, like the game, because like the FNAF movie kind of leaned on to the FNAF 1 game, but not too much. I think it's gonna do a similar thing. Where it's like it's gonna follow the story from the first FNAF movie, but also like take place in FNAF Juniors and have the toys and the puppet maybe and balloon boy will come back maybe i don't know second thing is this movie has been in pre-production for six months basically they're just like okay let's say the fnaf movie does well i have this script and then i'll revise it once the movie comes out and that is actually what scott has been doing since the fnaf movie came out he's been revising the fnaf 2 script based on the criticism of the fnaf movie which is very freaking good i'm not gonna go into all of them just because but emma tammy got questions about like okay but what about garrett and what about aunt jane and stuff like that and she's like hmm, well these are loose ends that may or may not be in the fnaf 2 movie <laughs> and then obviously we got markiplier he may or may not be in this movie i just wanted to throw that in because he announced that he wasn't going to be in the first movie about a week before it came out so and then scott cawthon commented on that stream like hmm you want to come to fnaf 2 so i hope that more comes to fnaf 2 it'd be very cool that's it for fnaf movie news now we got a brand new game we got a new game on i think november 20th i know that it was definitely the day that help wanted to released uh the trailer it's called five nights at friday's help wanted full time edition i might be wondering this isn't a brand new game it's just help wanted well I don't know, man. <laughs> Title, thumbnail, I don't know. Like, I can use it for something. Basically, Help Wanted wasn't ported to PS5 and PSVR 2. It was only on the PS4 and Steam and Oculus. So, Steelo's excuse for putting on the PS5, like, a few years late, just a few years, was this. This is exclusive. This is exclusive. <laughs> This is exclusive to the PS5, and it has a brand new cover art and everything. Let me read you the description. This new edition includes all content from the original Help Wanted, plus the Halloween DLC, Curse of Dreadbear, and giving you over 50 scary fun minigames in one terrifying package. Upgrade available for PS4 owners for only $9.99. This game is, I think, $30. Bucks. Uh, it's only available for PS5 and PSVR 2. But if you have the game on the PS4, you can upgrade to this version for 10 bucks. I watched Fusion play this game. Apparently, uh, there's this bug where you just move ever so slightly in FNAF 1. I don't know if that applies for all the games or just FNAF 1. But other than that, the game visually looks amazing. Like, if you compare side to side, like, if you were to just look at it, like, oh, that's just how I wanted. But if you compare it one and another, it's like, whoa, this game looks really good. And it just gives me high hopes for Help Wanted 2. Now, we get to Help Wanted 2 news. Let's go. So obviously recently, like uh, a couple weeks ago, we got the trailer and a blog post coming with that for Final Fantasy Freddy's Help Wanted 2. We got to see a lot of the mini games. The blog post revealed so much information. It's insane. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel. I may or may not leave an iCard here, and if I don't, then it will be in the description. Now, we get to some really juicy stuff. We got the official poster for Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. This one is one that's getting a lot of like feedback on and a lot of mixed reviews. It's like, I don't know if that many people like it, but also a lot of people do like it, it's weird. Might as well go over the thumbnail for uh, Full Time Edition. It's a mix of the two. It's a mix of uh, Help Wanted and Curse of Dreadbear to make like a cool green and red. And then at the top is Dreadbear, which I don't think was in the original poster. I think that's new, but I, I don't know. Either way, I really like this cover. And it's dope. It's obviously identical to Help Wanted 1, but with security breach and system location characters. Uh, let me talk about the things that I like, and then I'm going to talk about the things that people don't like. I personally think that the graphics with like the, the static and digital stuff, if you can see like the texture, it's cool. If I were to pick sides, I would pick this one because it's yucky and green and blue, so it makes it a little more like bleh, which is what the poster is exactly supposed to be because everyone's connected by like some weird goo. I still really like this one, but like this one's cooler in my opinion. Now let me get to why people don't like this. Basically, this is just a worse version of this, everyone is saying. They're saying that like, instead of everyone being connected by this weird cool goo, it's just wires. Uh, I've heard someone say that it might have to do with the blob, but I think that's just wrong. Oh, I just realized this guy thinks that uh, 
fun time Friday. Being at the head of something with a bunch of wires means the blob. That's pretty interesting, I guess. A lot of people don't like that. It's just the same thing, but with wires. But the big thing that people don't like is the amount of reused renders here. Moon, Roxy, Sun, and I think Glamrock Chica are all reused renders. Like, look at this. Okay, here's Roxy over here. And here's Roxy over here. So, like, people do not like that. The only thing that I really dislike with this is that there's zero FNAF 6 here. Like, they put the freaking staff bot in both versions of the daycare attendant, but not one FNAF 6 character. I'm gonna stop talking about the poster, but I, I do like it. I do think it's cool, just not as cool as this one. Okay, next thing, guys, we got a new description for Hope on It 2. Five Nights at Friday's Hope on It 2 is the latest installment in the iconic horror franchise, immersing players like never before through the outstanding. No, my fault. Uh, astounding capabilities of the PlayStation VR 2. Hope on It 2 drops the player into dozens of intense, terrifying jobs offered by Freddy, uh, Fazbear Entertainment in order to discover which part of the Fazbear family suits them best. Whether it's preparing food for guests, glamming up the animatronic stars, fixing technical issues with attractions, uh, performing first aid in emergency stations, or manning the DJ booth, there's a long-term career path for all who's interesting. Uh, interested. I cannot read, sorry. The core of the game is designed to be replayable through randomized dynamic challenges, keep up, or face termination. Got a few things to talk about here. First thing, the DJ booth. Raise the roof for DJ music, man. Second thing is we know what this game is, basically. Uh, Help Wanted 1 was a, like a fictional game to like cover up Fazbear Entertainment. They're like, hey, you know, you know those weird stories about the dead kids? <laughs> That was a joke, look, it's all this little game, it's just stupid VR. This is kind of similar, but not the same. Basically, this is an actual game for employees, and the employees play this. And basically, they play each of the mini games and see where they want to work at. Which I think is good in concept, but when it comes to Fazbear Entertainment, that's like a terrible idea. Because of the whole glitch trap thing. Next thing to talk about is uh, the sentence, the core of the game is designed to be replayable through randomized dynamic challenges. Uh, it wasn't too much like that in Help Wanted. There's a lot of scripted stuff. Uh, all I can really think of is like FNAF 1, 2, and 3. Maybe some other stuff, but it looks like this is gonna have more replayability, which is cool. The last thing to talk about, I was talking about how there's no FNAF 6 representation in the game, really. That ends with termination, so... Yeah. Connection terminated. Okay, the next thing makes me cry. This next thing might make you cry depending on your circumstances. The platforms Help Wanted 2 will release on. Oh my friendos, let me tell you. The title launches in VR for PlayStation VR 2 and PC, Steam, on December 14th. Flat mode will come in freaking SPRING! Excuse me? If you buy the game uh, in VR mode th when it comes out, then you will get it on flat mode instantly. Um, like, let's say you don't have VR, but you buy on the 14th, then you will instantly get the flat mode version when it releases. Kind of like a fighter's pass or a season pass or something like that. It is releasing only in VR for Steam and PSVR 2. They don't talk about Oculus here, which is what I'm using. Uh, and this is sad, but if it doesn't release on Oculus, then I'm not gonna be able to get a I'm not gonna be able to get a let's play out for you guys. I'm probably not gonna do a let's play until uh, either A the flat mode comes out or B I get a better computer before that comes out somehow and I can connect the Oculus to my computer. Basically, I can't connect the Oculus to my computer because it's not powerful enough. I need NVIDIA graphics. I I don't know. If it comes out on Oculus, I can just cast it to the computer and then I can just cast it in OBS and it's simple. But I can't play it unless they all of a sudden go, oh yeah, Oculus is coming out on the same day. Or even like on the 15th, that would be cool as well. But I think what I'm going to have to do is just watch it and then do this big review about it maybe? I don't know. Also, Help Wanted 1 didn't run well in OBS in the video, so that means this will run even worse. So is this god damn it, Steel So chances are if you're watching this, you probably won't be playing it. Uh, you're probably going to watch it or you're just going to wait. Here's the thing, I'm not gonna wait until spring to play it, because, like, if I do wait, I will eventually get the whole game spoiled to me. So, it's like, might as well just live with the hype, 
and watch someone play it. I don't know who, I don't know how. I was hoping that if it doesn't release on Oculus, it's gonna release on PS4 on flat mode. A, it's not releasing on PS4, I don't think. And B, it's not releasing on flat mode. Never does it talk about it being on the PS4, by the way. It, like, they do not want to talk about, oh yeah, it'll come to PS4 later. Or yeah, it'll launch on PSVR. Like, they don't talk about it at all. And the PS5, although it's a lot more common, some people still don't have one. So it's like, I don't know. Like, they got Security Breach out, and I guarantee that Security Breach has worse optimization than freaking Help Wanted 2. So, like, that are, it should not be that hard to do. Alright, but yeah, the last thing, we got some teasers! Mr. Kippo, peer into your future. Here it is! Look at this, this was actually today, as of recording. Shoot for the stars, Phaser Blast. Basically, this just shows Freddy, or probably Glamrock Freddy because of the fingertips. Just shows Freddy with the Factor Blast gun, like the Wild West. It's funny, you can see the Freddy Space 2 rocket ship here. And it's just goofy and stupid, I like it. Well, that's it, I think. Uh, this is a long news video, it's gonna be a long video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope y'all will be able to play Hope on it too. I sadly won't, which is sad. Uh, I'll try to get a new computer probably next year. I know I just got this one, but like, it's not doing me justice. I need to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. With that, thank you all so much for watching. Dislike the video as much as humanly possible. And I will see you in the next one. Toodaloo.